here on this show, we do like to share things with each other. We do, don't we? Absolutely. Of course, well, apart from Jammy Dodgers. If we could reach through the screen, I'm sure we'd be sharing a Jammy Dodger. You would, oh, you see. Do you remember that advert, by the way? Who would you share your last Rolo with? No one. I like them too much, don't you? I know it's daft, isn't it? Those ads stick in your mind, don't they, when you think about it? Because they were so impactive. Or is it because you're younger and you take more in? I often think about that, you know, with stuff. You kind of think, why can I remember that from X amount of years ago? I can't remember where I've put the remote control or, more importantly, your keys. That's another story. Don't get me going. But this really does have a narrative. I know you're thinking he's waffling on. But the bottom line is you just kind of wonder in this day and age how much we're being duped. Do you remember earlier this year, Bud Light Beers lost a colossal amount of money when they decided to get this man to promote you know their product they thought they were being you know difficult and uh, interesting and radical and all that sort of stuff and then people stopped buying it didn't they because they thought who is this creature trying to sell us stuff you know it just didn't work backfired and as i said at the time i thought there was something a little bit strange about this particular guy and i don't mean the obvious things but i think in the sense of that he was already in on the joke made a colossal amount of money but more importantly, of course, you know, he knew what he was doing. And um, I think I will be standard proven in the near future. But it's now back over here to London because, as I've said also with this woke culture, you do kind of think to yourself, are people now doing this just to get attention? Here in London at the Old Vic Theatre, which really now is only known to most people in the United Kingdom, all thanks to the association and the hard work, I might point out, that the somewhat disgraced Hollywood star uh, Kevin Spacey put in to that particular building. And, you know, thanks to him, of course, no mention of him and the roll calls or anything like that. And as yet, still has to be proven guilty. You get the picture. But what's interesting is they've got a brand new production of Groundhog Day. You know that big movie? That's right, Groundhog Day. Now, in order to get some attention, because, you know, they need some attention, at the end of the play, they give out the number of the Samaritans. Uh, so in case people were offended, upset or, you know, triggered by the suicide scene. I think you might need the Samaritans when you find out exactly how much the box office tickets are. Could just be me, and I'm not being light here. But how true is that story? Well, as ever, we like to expose these things, and it's actually a market employee. They've decided, and you know, the old Vic can come after me if they like, but the old Vic have decided that, well, you know, if we put something offensive out, then we say, we're here to help. It gets us a bit of publicity. And guess what? It did. But has it transcended into box office sales at the much needed box office? No, because too many people are doing this. Everybody knows that if you say, we're changing the book of Roald Dahl, or we're going to make Danny from Greece a tranny, then of course, oh dear, up in arms, but should we go and see it? And it just doesn't work anymore. We're all becoming wiser to these gimmicks in order to make sure they get some publicity. You're wiser, aren't you? You know, you are though, you, we, but that's it. We're sharing with each other. So if you are coming to London and you feel you're going to be triggered by the, uh, the play, the Groundhog Day at the Old Vic, take my advice. The only thing that will trigger you into a bit of a seizure will be the price of the tickets, nothing else. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.